Hi, welcome. This is Dr. John Demartini. This is one of the most amazing and inspiring shows that you can listen into. If you want to be on the edge of your seats, if you want to open up your heart, if you want to expand your mind, and you want to meet incredible people, stay tuned because you're just about to experience a transformative radio show that will change your life. And you're listening to the Dr. Pat Show is coming up right next. The following audio is via a Skype call. Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. Talk radio to thrive by. Powerful, inspiring, and coming to you live, bringing you stories of people like you and me, busting through and living life full out. Get ready to dare to wonder what your life would be like if you knew you could not fail. Hey, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. Welcome to Transformation Talk Radio. Thank you all for tuning us in and turning us on. You know, as you know by now, and you know, many, many people, millions of people mourning the death of Prince. And, you know, for those of you out there, I'm sure you've heard folks talking about it here and there. You have probably tapped into the pop culture. You know, you've probably looked at aspects of this that, you know, or, or not. Um, but what is it for me, uh, that I want to say about this? You know, I think in life, you know, you get to be introduced in the world to an extraordinary talent. And that's what today's show is about, you know, with Barbara joining me here in a second. You know, the book that Barbara Savin or Savin has written is Gentle Energy Touch. And, you know, one of the things that I want to talk about, especially around this, is how for uh, decades and decades this this amazing artist touched the lives of so many. And so, yeah, there are people talking about a mystery death. There are people talking about how all of this happened, what might have happened. You know, was it this? Was it that? But let's talk about how he lived, if we could. You know, let's talk about for a minute in the many, many ways that he touched the lives of so many people. Now, what is it I want to say about this? Um, We probably know him from the perspective of the music that you heard him sing. But what is it about him that maybe we don't know? I will say this, and, and maybe we can talk about it from an energy point of view. I will say this. There is a song that he wrote that was a pivotal song for me, and he did not sing it. And it was a pivotal song for me in a time in my life where I was really, really struggling. And, you know, for those of us that know or don't know, you may know him from the music that he wrote and the music that you saw him in and the videos, but you may not know how many songs he wrote and the various artists that he actually wrote songs for. And so for me, when I think about a legacy uh, and I think about the songs, even songs he sang, like I know one of the songs, that's one of my darkest songs that I am aware of is the song Creep. He actually did a cover for that. But when I think about what he's done, I think about the lives that he has touched through many of the direct music you hear, but also the songs that literally hit the charts, that went off crazy, and the songs he wrote that were sang by, uh, sang by women. And so, you know, when you think about somebody that has ruling, you know, Billboard and the Billboard 200, Prince is probably one of those people that you come up with. Clearly, we all know that, uh, you know, the song that I relate to what, at a very pivotal point in time in my life was a song in, the, in 1990 that was sung, sung by Sinead O'Connor. And that's nothing compares to you. And so isn't it interesting that you can have and write a song and then hand that song off to another person and have them do that song? It's interesting. It takes an extraordinary person to be able to share that gift. And that's what today's show is about as well. It's about the energy uh, that we bring into the world and how we do share our gifts. 
you know, what is the inspiration for those gifts? And, you know, Barbara is one of those folks that, as I said before, she's an author, a speaker. She's a gentle touch specialist, clinical medical hypnotherapist, certified Reiki master, energy, energy, energy. You think about it, it's right there. Consultant for the California Health and Longevity Institute. But most importantly, when you say body, mind, and spirit, You know, there are a number of people that are creating a new narrative of this. It used to be when you said body, mind, spirit, that you were talking about a handful of people that you thought perhaps were alternative, that perhaps you thought were on to something, but you know what, just couldn't really quite get to it. But today we get to talk about this, not just from a, from a point of view of, wow, alternative, But what we are discovering about gentle touch, about gentle energy touch, is quantum physics. Barbara, welcome to the show. It's a pleasure to be here, and thank you for having me here. You know, I talked about Prince for a little bit, you you know, because of enormous influence of the world. And I wanted to, to, to talk about that from an energy point of view. You know, how does someone that is so private, such an individual so private, you know, clearly written songs left and right and upside down and sideways, and many people don't even know it, carry such a big energy. You know what I'm saying? There is an energy to all of us. But this is the area that you work in, to not just understand the energy, but to harness it. What have you discovered in the years you've been doing this? What has been the evolution of our knowledge and our, and our willingness to use energy? in healing honestly i like for myself i feel that when i just sit still and and listen i hear the messages that are given to us and many times we we are so caught up in our daily activities that we do not take time to just be still and Mm -hmm. i feel with with prince and and you know i work with a lot of uh celebrities and singers um they, and I've noticed with, with the majority of them that do write their own music, they take that time to be alone, to stay still, and to hear the messages. And, and they feel, they can feel, they can sense, you know, everything that is downloaded to them, you know, from, from above and their uh, spirit guides, angels, or, and, and they, they, they have more of an awareness of everything that's around them. And I feel with him, he truly had an awareness of everything that was around him, not just from music, but from, you know, Mother Nature and other people and everything else. He was very, he was a very open uh, individual. Exactly. And, you know, this is really kind of what we're talking about, because you, you, I, I know that you've seen us in living where you live and doing the work that you're doing, right? Yes. Uh, you know, here we are and, and we're looking at this. I mean, we're now even getting information out, uh, you, you know, in our pop culture about the relationship that Prince had with Donald Trump, right? I mean, this is how interesting it is. This is how far reach the energy of a person can go. But we have really been remiss about talking about the full potential that we have to heal. And yet at the same time, someone such as yourself, shows up and and there you are you're talking about it out in the world and you're saying wait a minute if this is not the future uh, of healing this is the this is the present moment of healing how have you seen that in your own life and the people you work with it, exactly you know i i my grandma was a healer from istanbul uh-huh. and she would always do healing on my sister and i but you know, I mean, I was born 1948, so I've been around quite a while now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'll be 68 years old this year. And let me tell you, all the knowledge is really coming out. So, uh, but she would always tell us to not say anything to anyone because back then they would put us in a psychiatric ward because people yes. looked at it as something that was, you know, witchy. But We all have the ability to help ourselves heal. All we need to do, you know, Pat, is just ask for the energy, the healing, and it is there for us. And the thing to really understand is that 
when we do, and that's why I wrote the book. You know, I I I I, I taught this in, in, to so many people, and everyone would say, "Boy, you really need to write a book because the way you teach it is so easy." And I've always said to everyone, "This is not meant to be hard." My grandma used to show me how to do this. It was not hard. Where did she learn it from? I think it was just instinct that they just knew that once they would ask for divine or God or whatever, you know, they prayed to the healing, it was there for us. And once we take control, I want to say, of our bodies and ask for the healing energies, what it does, it actually helps clear a lot of that negative stuff that we're holding on to all of our lifetime. And energy healing helps us make the positive changes in our life so that we can feel and be healthier, but most importantly, feel lighter energetically. And I tell people, you know, growth is not always easy, but when you do energy healing on yourself, it helps clear those unwanted physical, mental, emotional conditions and so that they should not be afraid of it, but instead to welcome it with open arms. Because healing on, on all levels now, now I'm not talking about medication, I'm just talking about the energy that comes right. to us and moves through us, helps us to look deep within so that we understand maybe what aspects of, and maybe what viewpoints actually moved us towards our lifestyle, our behavior, and our motivation you know, that we've chosen for ourselves. And it helps us on, on all levels. And once you begin that process of learning it and calling it in for yourself, it is amazing the energy that it clears for us. Yeah. You know, the reason I brought up a Prince, there's a couple reasons, and I want to share this when we come back um, with our listeners. You know, you live and work in a field and have touched the lives of some amazing people. Some of them, none of us are ever going to know about, but others we do. And I was, I was looking at, um, I was looking at the book and I was, I was noticing the comment that was made by, you know, both Pharrell or Pat Benatar. And I was just reading this Christine Aguilera, but this is what it says. And this is what I want to talk about when we come back. Pharrell says, Barbara has a very blessed way of moving energy. She is a servant of goodwill and promoting light. That is the call to action. Let's take a short break. When we come back, we have five copies of this book to give away, lots to talk with about. And you know what? Aura, aura, aura on the wall. Who is the prettiest colors of them all? Stay tuned. We'll be right back. been seven hours and fifty days since you took your love away. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit jenroyster.com for more information. Access Consciousness is coming back to Seattle this April for three amazing events. Mark your calendars. April 20th through the 22nd is the Access Consciousness Body Classes, created by Gary Douglas and Dr. Dane here. Facilitated by Dr. Glenna Rice. Explore verbal processes and hands-on body work that will unlock the tension, resistance, and dis-ease of the body by shifting energy dynamically. April 23rd through the 25th is the Advanced Access Body Class with Gary Douglas. What if you could undo a whole lot of limitations that you have locked into your body and create an alteration of the way your body functions? Then, on April 26th at 7 p.m., join Gary Douglas for the Abuse Hold class. This is the first time ever that this dynamic process is being presented in a class format. Find out more about these Access Consciousness April events in Seattle by visiting transformation.events. That's transformation.events. 
a morning filled with dynamic, inspirational music, spirituality, and uplifting messages by T.J. Woodward. Come and connect with community conversations and awaken your senses. Awakened Living Sundays with T.J. Woodward. Join T.J. every Sunday in the San Francisco Bay Area Chapel at Fort Mason and live streaming online 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Pacific Time. To learn more and access the live stream, visit www.awakenedlivingsf.org. Awaken to your radiant, authentic self. For over 15 years, Soul Purpose Advocate Nancy Monson has been focused on leading change in the lives of those looking to live their true purpose. She is devoted to supporting people and living a soul-directed life every day. Let Nancy help you overcome fear, worry, and doubt. Visit EverydaySpirituality.com to learn how Nancy can be your Soul Purpose Advocate. Shine On Radio, Find Your Shine with Kelly is the show that celebrates what makes you, you. Join co-hosts Kelly Wadler and Dr. Pat Basile as they break down how to brilliantly fuel and move your body and love what makes you shine. Kelly is a professional arts and wellness coach dedicated to helping brilliant women find their confidence, energy, self-love, and shine. Tune in to Shine On Radio with Kelly and find your shine on TransformationTalkRadio.com. The doctor is in. Tune in to the hit show, The Psychic Love Doctor, with host Deborah Lee. Deborah's life affirming, highly perceptive reading method has taught Deborah how to zero in on specific problems with relationships, career pursuits, and current roadblocks to success and happiness. Join Deborah Fridays at 2 p.m. Pacific and for a special broadcast the second Thursday of every month at 11 a.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Well, I want to tell you, everyone, there's a reason that we all come together. There is somehow in the world, and, you know, my special guest today, uh, Barbara Seven, is someone that knows a ton about this, more than a ton. Because a friend of mine said to me years ago, you got to actually, you can't take people to a place you haven't gone yourself. I have heard that more time than not. I never really understood what it means, but Barbara does. Her fabulous, fabulous book, and I just want to tell you guys about it, Gentle Energy Touch. Benny, we have five copies to give away. I'd like to give away the first one now. First caller, 1-800-930-2819. And, you know, Barbara, the website that uh, I want to make sure we're sending people to uh, to get a copy of the book and to find out more about you, if we could, is we, you know, what's the, first tell me, what's the best website? Is it gentleenergytouch.com? Uh, it's either gentleenergytouch.com or my name, Barbara Savin, S-A-V-I-N dot com. E- yes. Either one, it goes to the same place. Okay. Well, I totally mispronounced your name, right? Did you get oh, that? Okay. Everyone calls me different. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to call you amazing. That's what I'm going to call you. Thanks. <laughs> uh, I'm going to call you Barbara Amazing. Um <laughs> uh, I wanted, when we were at the break, I was talking about, okay, here we are. And we're talking about energy and we're talking about, we talked about Prince. I wanted to ask you about this book and, and ask you about the idea of how we misconceive our potentiality. Because there's an aspect of the work that you do that requires perhaps at different points in time, a level of belief. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to ask you about the relationship between belief, what we believe in, the strength of that conviction, and our ability to use energy to heal. Is there a relationship from your, your point of view? Without a doubt. You know, the, the first thing is not to be afraid. I know growing up for myself, I was fearful because my mom would tell me that it was my imagination, that I could see, feel, and hear things, but I knew it wasn't. And I had too many dreams that showed me that I lived past lives as a healer. But, you know, growing up in the 60s, 70s, 80s, it was, it was challenging. So once I truly began 
believing and helping myself heal first. You know, I was diagnosed with chronic uh, fatigue with very bad migraines, but I was also diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis, which the doctor said I would be crippled like my mom. But let me tell you, Pat, once I began believing that I can help myself heal by removing the negativity in my body from, you know, not just past lives, but as child, you know, as a child, I began healing. And the rheumatoid arthritis is completely gone. Uh, no more chronic fatigue, no more headaches. So I feel with, without a doubt, we have the ability to be able to do anything that we set our minds to do. And all we need to do is ask. And if the journey is meant for us to heal from the illness, we will. If it's meant for us not to heal from the Ill, illness, but to realize what has call, caused the illness in the first place, energy healing will allow you to see that. Yeah. You know, I want to ask you about what you've seen in the world. And I know the book captures it. And perhaps that's the way uh, to weave this in. One of the things we've been doing for 13 years where um, – The Dr. Pat Show and now the network that we've launched, Transformation Talk Radio, and then in two months, we're launching TransformationRadio.fm, 10 channels, 10 channels, Barbara, 10 unique channels about positive living, you know, about something that I never thought in a million years. I I, I, Honestly, you and I were joking, right? Mm -hmm. How does a girl from Brooklyn get to get a testimonial from Pharrell and a girl from the Bronx get to talk to her? About that, how does that even happen in the world, right? I, you know, I, I really feel there's no, co- it, it, it's meant to be. <laughs> you know, they have a plan upstairs, and they're looking down on us. And they're saying, <laughs> all right, let me see. We'll put Barbara when she moves to California. In California, health, she'll meet Pharrell, Christina, Pat Benatar, and let me tell you, a, a lot many other celebrities, which I'm not, uh, you know, mentioned to say because I don't. Yeah. Have but it, it's incredible. It, it, it's all a bigger plan so that we're then able to get out the messages that we really need to get out. Because my, that book, I'm sure it would have done well, but with the celebrity endorsement, yeah. people will see that it's not just regular people like, you know, like us yeah. that does this. It, it's the celebrities. And let me say, the celebrities, they are very much in tune to energy healing. They're very much in tune to everything that's around them. You know, um, I, I when, when I go to work on, on many of them, I, I tell them uh, it doesn't matter to me who they are. What matters to me is that we're all human beings in need of healing. Yeah. And, and I, you know, mm-hmm. all of us are in need of healing. And I want to talk about that for a minute. In the book, you take us through a journey about, listen, these are the basics. Now let's talk about the chakras. Now let's talk about auras and, and energy. And we go through the many aspects of this. But you also teach us. You also teach us about this. And isn't this really the, the major difference, though, now in what we're seeing about the work you're doing, energy healing, and shall I say it, conventional medicine and healing? Mm-hmm. The difference is from from the book and everything that you're out in the world, you're saying, wait a minute, I can do it, but let me teach you how to do it. And is that a challenge or is that a gift or is it both? I, I think it, it, it's really both. You know, mm-hmm. we, we, we all can help ourselves heal. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, mm-hmm. you know, I was put in the California Health Longevity, which is a medical institute, but I also work for a holistic doctor. And it's amazing how, um, the medical people are beginning to see uh, that there is a connection with the body, mind, spirit. And they are now realizing that our aura, that there is energy around us, and that that aura, you know, brings in a lot of good energy, but it also brings in bad energy. Mm -hmm. And it's the bad energy, you know, the negative that we need to uh, clear. So, uh, you know, in my heart, you know, I... My grand, as I mentioned before, she was a healer, my grandma, but I had the ability to do this. And the thing is, is I'm not any special than anyone else. We all can tap into this and help ourselves heal. 
Wow. We've got a caller who wants to chime in here, Barbara, if we sure. can. Mr. Benny, who do we have? I'll take Christine calling in from Seattle. Christine, welcome to the show. Hey, Christine. Hey there, Dr. Pat. And uh, Barbara, I want to say thank you so much for being a guest on the show. Uh, Dr. Pat always has the best. She always has the best guest. Thanks. And uh, I'm thoroughly enjoying this. I wanted to make a comment that um, I had a very similar um, background in that uh, my great-grandfather was what we called a, a, a white witch. I, I'm not sure why they would say witch because he was a male, but, um, but he, he would, quote, undo spells. And it was quite a long time before, um, you know, I was always told this I was, when I was a child. I, I hung out with him. Um, he had had a, he had uh, given up what he had done, and then he had a stroke and was paralyzed on his right side and couldn't speak for the rest of his life after the age of about 45. Um, and when I was a child uh, hanging out with him, a lot of my cousins were kind of scared of him, um, but I was never scared of him. And uh, after he died, when we moved to Seattle, uh, it, it was my my family was always like, okay, this is the special gift. And you obviously have the special gift, but you can't tell people about it Mm -hmm. and you can't talk about it, which was fine for me because like you, I had, you know, I had these, you know, sort of uh, unseemly memories and dreams of, you know, having been uh, killed in other lives for, for what I knew. And I love that we live in this time period because I don't believe, you know, that, uh, that some people have it and some people don't. I just think that some people are awake to it and some people are not. And what I love about what you're doing is you are creating a way for people to actually not just feel comfortable, but actually acknowledge and know that it is completely accessible to them. It is not something that you have to be a psychic superstar or you have to do this or you have to do that. It's there for all of us, and it's there to serve us. Exactly, and it is there. And as I mentioned so many times, all we need to do is ask because it it is – what I teach, the gentle energy touch, is just your soul intention that begins the healing process and then activates when your hands are placed on your body, you know, allowing the energy to flow freely so that you are able, you know, to help yourself heal. And that's all it is, is it intention. And, it again, it's not meant to be hard. And I tell that to everyone. We are all healers, healers <clears throat> excuse me, in our own way. So, and, that's, yeah. and that's something that people don't quite, you know, it, it's important, I think, you know, that we have training wheels and things like that. But I think that the probably the biggest disservice that I've ever seen is to, is to create dependence. Yes. You know, um, we talk about energy independence in this country as far as fossil fuels. Well, there's yeah. energy independence energetically. Mm-hmm. And that's when we realize that our, our energy and who we are and what we bring to the planet, who we are. We are the only ones that can do it, and we are independent in that way, and, and we have everything that we need. We don't need anything else. You know, we, we are, uh, you know, physical, you know, beings, and, in, in uh, you know, our, our energy, our being is, you know, we're, we're physical, but our bodies are energetic. And, yes. And it's very important to understand that. And, and yes, you know, I see a lot of clients that, that are very dependent on medication, and, and they think it's a quick fix. But I, I say to everyone, there's no quick fix in life. We, we need to let go of many of our challenges, uh, of the heaviness that keeps us ill, so that we can finally raise our vibration, you know, to a higher vibration, so that what then – once we allow ourselves to let go of that low vibration, we then begin to heal. Yeah. And, and, yes, that, and not, to mis- we, not to mistake that other, other lower vibrations are us, you know, to know that we, we, don't, we are not subject to that. And, you know, it's like having a car with no driver on the road. You, you, if you're not tuned into that. I mean, my, one of my favorite poets said, there's no such thing as a spiritual path. But if there was, it would be a quarter of an inch thick and it would be you getting in rhythm with yourself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much for your work. I'm I'm going to look you, you up, and I and I enjoy I really enjoy your interaction with Dr. Hey, Pat. Christine, did you get a copy of the book? 
I, no, I, I didn't even know about Barbara. Yeah, stay online <laughs> if you don't mind and let us get some information. Benny will get some information and we'd love to give you a copy of this fabulous book. It's amazing. Thank you so much again, Please Dr. Stay Pat, online. for having Thank a fabulous you. guest. Okay. All right, let's go to break, Mr. Benny. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, we're going to talk about a gentle energy touch. What is it? And how can we tap into it? When? Now. Stay tuned, everyone. We'll be right back. My very special guest joining me here today, Barbara Saban, Gentle Energy Touch.com. We'll be right back. Hey everybody, this is Dr. Pat. Many of you have heard me talk about the Lyme disease epidemic going on right now in the world. I wanna tell you about my friends at Results RNA. They have now created an entire Lyme support system for immune system support, detoxification, rejuvenation, and neurological healing. Please visit ResultsRNA.com to learn more. And for first-time orders, you'll receive a special 10% discount. All you have to do is type in Dr. Pat at checkout. Francine Vale is a being of light. She believes that all people of planet Earth are as well. As co-host of the Angel Healer radio show, Francine teaches you heart-centered ways to manifest healing on your own behalf and how to integrate love more fully into your daily life. Connect with your angels as you find your life flowing with ease and harmony. Walk the path of light with Francine and Dr. Pat Basili every month on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Have you been seeing numbers like 111 and 222 everywhere you go? Do you feel that the universe may be trying to get your attention, perhaps offering a message of some sort? As it turns out, numerical patterns and certain types of geometry form the very fabric of our reality, from cells under a microscope to the astronomy of our night sky. At Stellar Reflections, we offer special sessions which tap into these patterns, designed specifically to support you on your journey. The 111 and 222 activations are sessions activating new patterns in your energy field, which in turn can help you create new patterns in your life. After just one session with a practitioner, either in person or via distance, clients report gaining greater clarity, becoming more intuitive, and honoring their inner truth as they move forward in their lives. Curious about what these transformational sessions might do for you? Call 425-999-9836 or visit StellarReflections.com. That's StellarReflections.com. Do you want to achieve your goals? Do you want to strengthen relationships with others? Do you want to improve your financial status? Colette Marie Steffen is partnering with Mark Kettenbach to bring you an energetic upgrade online experience launching in April. Unfold and develop your full potential. Visit energeticupgrade.com today for more information. That's energeticupgrade.com. Hey, everybody, welcome back. Yeah, that is Stevie Nicks, and uh, it is another song that Prince actually wrote. So for those of you out there, you're going to be hearing some of these songs throughout the show today. Uh, Probably throughout the week, uh, we're going to be putting stuff together. We still have a copy of the book to give away for one of you out there. A first caller, 1-800-930-2819. And please, if you've got questions for Barbara, you can either do that through the telephone or you can go to transformationtalkradio.com. And on the right-hand side, you can put your question in and we'll get it on air. Um, you know, Barbara, one of the things that I did want to touch upon is all of the many things you have in the book, uh, how you work with energy. I'd love for you to talk a little bit about, you know, what you wanted this book to do for people. And then what is it? That is probably the most important thing that we should know out of all of the juiciness you've gotten here. Well, I, you know, I, I wrote the book, not just to help other, you know, everyone help themselves heal, but we also need more healers in this world. And 
I was, as I was writing, I said, God, please, we need more healers. And if people pick up the book and help themselves heal, then they would be able to help others heal. And um, I think for my, for the most part, it was all about having people know that they can take control of their own body, of their own health, and by just replenishing their life force energy. And the whole purpose was for everyone to realize that that inner journey of the of themselves, you know, that they, they once they begin to tap into this energy for themselves, they will understand that the, their consciousness and their clarity of mind begins to open and to expand, and then they truly under, they begin understanding their life's purpose, and most importantly, to trust trust their inner guidance, oh. because it's that voiceless voice that speaks to us, Pat, yeah. that we tend to ignore. And that voiceless voice tells us when we don't feel well, tells us what is wrong, tells us what it is we need to let go of. But we do we listen? No. And that's why many people are, are ill in this world. And I put the book together in a way so that they would understand not just from calling in energy and doing the healing work on you know energy work on themselves, but to understand about their aura and 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 what negativity or loving energy comes in and goes out of it, you know, which all includes our thoughts and our feelings. Yeah. And I you know I I talk about the energy centers because the energy centers hold every single memory from this lifetime and past lifetimes that we need to let go of. And so that's why I, I added everything together. And, and, and I'm hoping I answered your question right. <laughs> yeah. And Barbara, I am so glad you put illustrations in the book. Yes. I mean, many people don't write books like this anymore. You know, there are a million reasons why not to write a book like this before. But I don't know how you cannot write a book like this before without you showing us and, the, and demonstrating this. And, because, and it's important that they learn from the yeah. beginning and they learn everything that they, they that needs to be learned and not to be afraid of the mm-hmm. energy that they're working with. Because not only do I teach them how to call in for the energy, how to understand what it does, um, I also teach uh, energy protection techniques so that they know they are safe when they do this healing on themselves. Or, you know, when they do it on others, that's why I combined, you know, self-healing. And then I combined a section that shows how to do healing on other people. Yeah, I want to ask you about energy protection, if I can. Mm -hmm. Um, I I know that you refer to it in the work of healing. But I also wanted to ask you about energy protection in general. I remember going to a live event once and walking in to do a live interview with someone, right? Right. Um, and I walked in and the woman before she would even sit down and talk with me said, stop right there. You've got a thousand daggers in your back. And I'm like, what just happened right there? Uh, but what she was talking about is energetic clearing. And, right. you know, mm-hmm. I, I mean, I didn't know I had a thousand daggers, but after I sat down and I worked with her a little bit, I got what she was saying. How does other people's energy, how can it affect us? either in a positive or a not-so-positive way. Do you know what I mean? Well, you know, you, you when we wake up in the morning, yeah. for the most part, we feel fine. Yeah. And then, you know, we get dressed, we go along our day, and then by the end of the day, maybe your shoulders feel a little heavy, or maybe you have a headache, or you just feel heavier energetically. But you're not sure what has happened here. It's because we do pick up energies from other people, places, and things. Some of it, the energy is beautiful and loving. Some of that energy is not, and it's, it, it's heavy and negative. And so what I teach in the book is how to clear that from you because we do, you do not want to hold on to that because that energy is what begins to make us ill. Yeah. And so and- it's important that, you know, negative uh, 
uh, thoughts from other people. Mm -hmm. You know, my grandma always used to tell me, I'll just give you an example. (laughs) Yeah. She would call me Babacita. Uh, (laughs) And she would say, Babacita, if anyone says negative or anything bad to you, you take that thought, you grab it from your mind, you throw it on the ground, and you stomp on it because it's not yours. And what happens here is people pick up all this negativity from others, you know, whether it's a thought or a look or whatever it may be, and that's what drags us down. And so the whole purpose of of actually the energy protection, that whole um, chapter, is to show you that you don't need that and that there are ways to clear it from you. And that's why I talk about prana healing and clearing because it's so important for us to be able to clear our own energy so that we're just within ourselves and we don't have all this other outside interference because then it stops us from doing what really what we need to do for ourselves. Yeah. And by the way, we have a great, uh, one of our fabulous listeners. We have the best listeners on the planet. And I would love to be able to bring him on, Mr. Benny. Who do we have? Yeah, we'll take Debbie now calling in from Seattle. Debbie, welcome to the show. What's going on? Hey, Debbie. Hi. Um, I am, um, I have a lot of negative energy and I feel blocked because there's this little part of me that doesn't trust in myself and my abilities. And um, and the more I try to fight that negativity, the worse it becomes. And I'm trying to figure out how to get rid of the, or how to trust myself to be able to do that. Because I've been told I could be a healer. I've been told I have these gifts, but I'm blocking myself, I think. Well, what is it that you're you're afraid? You are, who, oh, who has made you afraid of who you are? Well, I have a lot of abuse issues when I was a kid, and uh, I was, I I guess I was always told not to trust myself. That's how I felt. Well, are you able to, and I know this may sound challenging, but are you able to forgive and let go of those that may have abused you? Well, I thought I did, but there might, I guess, maybe, I don't know. I went to a transmedicine counselor at one point and um, I just forgot what I was going to say. She said I argued, like I kept asking her, why do I get this yes, no, no, yes? Why is there always an argument in my head? And she said, because you like to argue with yourself. (laughs) And (laughs) so I've tried to learn to take the very first thing that comes into my head and let the second one go. Right. Have you tried clearing yourself? I don't know exactly how to do that, actually. Okay. <laughs> That's what I want to do. And I'll give you a very simple technique to clear yourself. I'll, 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 when you take a shower, all right, uh-huh. utilize the, the, the water, the shower, as cleansing rain. And then okay. if you believe now, I, 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 I use the word God without any religion associated with it. Okay, because that's the word my grandma. Yeah, that's fine. That's what I used to. So ask God to clear your energies. Anything that may have attached to you, what you do is you take your hand and you just sweep from the top of your head just in a downward motion. You just sweep the energy and you send it down to the, you know, down the drain with love and light and healing. You keep on just sweeping your energy downward until you feel clear. Oh, okay. That's cool. And then you step into a bubble of protective light. Now, if you have energy during the course of the day, you do the same technique. The only difference is you just visualize God's light clearing you, sending those negative energies down to Mother Earth with love and light and healing. And then you step into a bubble of protective light. Now let me ask you something. Do you besides do you? It's a very that's a very simple technique. I do it every single day for myself, and, and many times I have to do it. You know, sometimes after some of my clients, because it, we can pick up energies again from other people. Oh yeah, I know. I'm an empath too. Right. Well, so so you want to clear yourself on on a, on a daily basis. Now, do you ground yourself also? I used to. I kind of quit doing it. I kind of. I started really getting into this stuff, and then I kind of 
stopped. I don't know why. I don't remember what happened. You know, it's very important that you ground yourself because grounding grabs all of our physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual energies, and it all brings it back into our being. So it's very simple to ground yourself. You just uncross your arms, you uncross your legs, you sit up straight, and you just become aware of your breathing, and you just breathe. I do try and do that during the day, and the, the shower thing sounds really cool. That's where the trust thing comes in. There's always this little part of me that's like, that's not true. Somebody's telling me it's not. Well, then you know what? What you need to do, you need to tell those, those thoughts that come into your mind to leave you. Okay. You need to tell them I'm deleting you because they do not serve me purpose. And right. the more you tell those thoughts to delete themselves that they do not serve you purpose, you'll see one day all of a sudden you'll wake up and those thoughts will be gone. Because, you know, the conscious mind does not know what is real or not real. So when we feed it negative thoughts, it thinks it's real and then the body acts that way. But when we feed it positive thoughts, it then thinks that's real, and then the body acts that way. So it's so important. Just, you know, like, you know, on a computer how we press the delete key, and we do, <laughs> yeah. do the yeah. thing with your mind. And let me tell you, you will feel the difference. Thank you so much, and thank you, Dr. Pat, for your show. You have some really, really good uh, people on, and I really enjoy it. Oh, you bet. Thank you. You're amazing. Thank. Hey, did you get a copy of the book, Debbie? Yes. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, Barbara, what I'd like to do is we're going to skip the break here because we've got the lots to talk about. And if there's anybody out there that would like to call in and get some help, you know, that's what Barbara does. one eight hundred nine three zero two eight one nine. Yeah, this shows for all of you guys. Um, you know, Barbara, I want to ask you a couple of questions, but before I do, again, please give folks the website and tell them how they might get a copy of the book. Well, well, they can actually go to Amazon.com and yeah. and put in Gentle Energy Touch, and it'll come up automatically, and then they can purchase it from Amazon. Or they can go to my my website, you know, which is GentleEnergyTouch.com, or they can just use my name, BarbaraSaven.com, and it takes them, you know, to, to the same site. And then they uh, can I, the book there. I want to ask you about this idea of energy and helping people manifest their lives dreams. And the reason that I want to bring this up, because I know for myself, I've had to do some healing along the way. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, the people that that have actually written testimonials for the book uh, are clearly living their life's dream. And I wanted to ask you the relationship between gentle energy touch and stepping out into your life purpose and your life dream, what's the relationship? It, it's just not being fearful, to be quite mm -hmm. honest with you. Yeah. You know, we all can do anything. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of trusting what we feel and then going for it. And um, with, with gentle energy touch, with, with the energy, what that does, it just clears the energy field. And when the energy field, which is our aura, when that is cleared, all of a sudden, you you can feel and you hear the things that you need to. So it's all about just clearing yourself, uh, Pat. And once we clear yeah. ourselves, then we have the ability to follow anything that we need to. You know, like for myself, my grandma used to always clear me. Yeah. I never understood why she did that, but I was never sick, and we always, you know, we always were, we had excellent attendance records in school, and, and I realized that the more energetically we clear ourselves, the more we're able to follow our dream and not be afraid of it. Yeah. Isn't it interesting about our grandmas? Because I had a grandma like that, too. Mm. You know, I don't know, you know, what it is from the old country or not from the old country. But, you know, there were certain things that grandma did that, you know what? Not everybody completely understood, but they did it. You know, what is it about our grandparents or at least yours and mine, if we, you know, to talk about for a minute? What is it that they've learned and is what you're doing helping us remember uh, this unlimited potential we have? You know, Pat, back then, they they didn't have schools that taught 
them energy healing. They oh. they just knew. They just knew what to do. They were not into medication. They were into natural. Like my grandma would always say, you know, use certain teas to help me make feel better. You know, um, she she was always using herbs and things such as that that would help me feel better without medication. And I think they were able to tap into that that higher self, I want to say, so that they were able to um, help themselves heal and then show others all you need to do is ask and the energy is there for you. And I think what my, you know, I feel with my grandma, um, she, she would always tell me, you know, just ask. Bob, she would always say, Baba Sita, ask for God's healing and just put your hands on your body and you'll feel, you'll feel it. And so with them, I think they were more open to the messages that were there. You know, we, we, we're very blocked energetically because of all the negativity that's around us. And I, I really feel in my heart that back then, yeah, they had negativity and, yeah, World War One, World War Two, but yeah. they were able to tap into uh, their higher self. And they were able to trust themselves more because they didn't have all that other interference of all this, you know, medication. And yeah. that that's what I feel in my heart is, is that they had the strength to do it because they knew they needed to help themselves heal because they couldn't depend on, 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 on doctors or medicines because many of them didn't even have the money, you know, to go to a doctor. Yeah. You know, it's interesting what you're talking about because um, I recently, um, I have an uncle that passed away, but he shared a lot of stories. And you're absolutely right. I mean, some of the stories he told about grandma, grandma's sisters, my aunts and my uncles. I mean, even things like, did you know that, you know, your grandma's third cousin did riveting on these big ships and i'm saying well of course they did there was nothing blocking them we have a caller calling into the show i think we have a few minutes mr benny don't we yeah we'll take deb from wisconsin deb welcome to the show hey deb glad to have you how can we help you hi thank you for having me listen i have a real quick question i've been a healer for a very long time and i agree with everything barbara's saying about being open about you know, I, I loving thoughts. I do everything right, and yet I can't heal my left hip. You, and you, it's now at the point where it's bone on bone. So I'm, you know, I I've, I've gone to everybody about it, but I just can't seem to do that for myself, and it just really confuses me. Now you're saying your 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 left hip? You said? Yes. Yeah. Uh, what were you ever injured? in that area or? well i was i was a gymnastic a gymnastic i did a lot of gymnastics and i probably have some arthritis um and every time they take an x-ray they they say that it's you know an arthritic hip it's degenerating and but yeah. i have poured everything into healing every color um, I had a, a mentor for 12 and a half years who taught me a lot about energy and quantum physics, and I did that with my patients. I was a psychologist and a nurse, and, you know, so I'm capable of healing. Why can't I heal myself? Let, let me answer. Usually the, the hip area is all connected to the, to the root and to the sacral chakras. So right. uh, uh, are there certain belief patterns that maybe, you know, you inherited from your family that you need to let go of? Or I've worked on all of them. I've worked on everything. I've been through a very lot, and I've worked on it all. And I, I, I don't know what else could be in there. But you know, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a little secret here. I had a very bad hip problem, and I had an MRI, <clears throat> and the doctor told me I need a hip replacement. Well, I then went to my holistic doctor, uh, who I also work for, and I showed the X-rays. She put me on a, a number of supplements and bioidentical hormones. Now, I'm not mm -hmm. saying this is right for everyone, right. but a year mm -hmm. later, I do not need a hip replacement. So sometimes, you know, it, it could be that you need certain supplements. You know, uh, maybe. And I, yeah, and I've gone that route as well. Oh, you've gone that route. Okay. I've gone with a medical intuitive, a naturopathy. 
I'm seeing now a holistic nutritionist, and I've been with her for a year. Okay, so is it something that, you know, many a times our illness, um, we're meant to understand about it, but we don't physically heal from it. And sometimes we we do physically heal from it, and then, you know, we, we teach others. So do, do you feel that in, in your heart this is something that won't go away, but that you've learned to deal with all the challenges associated with it? Um, you know, that, that, that could be. I think the other thing is, you know, groundedness has always been an issue for me. I've always been way up there, you know, flying out rather than yeah. grounding myself here. Yeah. It's, it's, wow. Yeah. Well, Barbara, is there a way, you know, if folks want to work with you directly or find out more, because I know we're just wrapping it up here for the show, what's the best way uh, for people to, you know, work and work this out? Yeah, well, evidently, you know, we, we need to do some clearing on, on her. Yeah. I, I also do a lot of distance healing. So yeah. they, they can uh, email me at my, my whole name, Barbara E. Saban at AOL.com. Great. Wow. Barbara, thank you for a fabulous, fabulous show. We'll make sure we post this on our website along with the interview. Let's take a short break, everyone. We'll be right back. I tried to swim against Preceding audio was via a Skype call.